How do everybody? Uh, it's Random Dad again. It's a, it's a Thursday night, so... No, Thursday. Wednesday. I'm losing track of time, man. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I was watching Jurassic Park Trilogy last week. Uno. Dos. With the, the cover there. Oh, yeah. Lenticular cover. Dos. And it gets a lot of flack, but I really like it. Trace, right? So I did the trilogy last week, which put me in a dinosaur kind of mood. So then I busted out my Dinosaur Galaxy trading cards by Monster Wax. That's right, folks. It's another, here's a reason you need to be buying Monster Wax trading cards, random dad video. I have one, two boxes of it, and I'll explain why you need two boxes of it in just a few short minutes. So, once again, Monster Wax, run by Kurt down in uh, Florida. And uh, here we go. This is, a, this is a big set. And the reason you need two boxes is because in order to get the full base set, you need two boxes. Because the full base set is big. It is 123 cards, okay, of dinosaurs, man. Dino, dino, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. And who doesn't love dinosaurs? Well, I would imagine... Uh, Russians, maybe, and um, communists. Well, communists? No. Russian? No. This video went to hell fast. Ah, screw it. I'm not editing it, man. I'm kind of really out of it today. Been uh, low on sleep lately, so... Oh! Communists and Nazis. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> ah, whatever, whatever. Forget editing. Editing's for professionals, of which I'm not. So, okay. So, dinosaurs... Uh, dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. So the fronts of the cards, you get dinosaurs. And there were three main artists who did the art on the main series, the 123 base set. And so you get, uh, you get the dinosaur. And then on the back, you get tons of information about said dinosaur. All right. So that's very cool right there. So you need to buy both boxes. Run you right at 100 bucks for uh, the set. But it's not just 123 cards. As we've said before... Kurt goes all out um, when he puts these sets together. So let's take a look at the box. Let's closer look at the box. You got Dinosaur Galaxy, right? Really nice uh, side right there. And the back. Uh, on the back, on the bottom, I should say, you get a really sweet picture that is not part of uh, any of the cards. Okay. And there's the other side there. So, I mean, even the sides of the box, different images. All right. He's not even cheaping out on the, on the box itself, right? So you get two boxes. Uh, there's two different, um, well, I guess they're the same, honestly, but one's red and one's black. Two different wax wrappers there. And then, in addition to the base set, you get a 40-card subset called the Bone Wars. And, in my honest opinion, I like the artwork on the Bone Wars cards better than the base sets. It's not to uh, say I don't like the base sets. I really do like the base set artwork. But what's cool about the 40-card Bone Wars is that it's not 40 artists, because a couple artists are repeated, but uh, somewhere in the 30s, 30 different artists did this subset. So you're getting tons of different styles in one subset there. So that's pretty darn sweet right there, isn't it? Now You know it is! So, yeah. Uh, and the Bone Wars, it tells a story of uh, Cope and Marsh, the two guys in the late 1800s who went to war with each other literally over, uh, they were paleontologists, and it tells a story of uh, uh, Cope and Marsh in the late 1800s in the Bone Wars that they fought over fossils, dinosaur fossils. Uh, you also get uh, five promo, or I got five promo cards, and I think it's random how many, actually no, Kurt sends you the promo cards when you order the stuff, so... I don't know if there were more than five, but I got five promo cards. And as you all know, I love printing plates. And you get one printing plate in each box. So there you go. All right, that's a little hard to see. Oh, wait. I turned mine there. Ah, the glare in here is horrible, man. Sorry about that. There you go. That looks better than I do. So two one-of-a-kind printing plates used printing the cards in the series. And then in each box, you get a sketch card, a one-of-a-kind sketch card by... Um, artists that were hired for the series so there's the uh, sketch card back i got two of those nobody else has these just me baby and if i were inclined i could do my own sketch cards but i don't like messing with my card sets that much well i do and i don't anyways 
I would suck at drawing these, so I'm leaving them blank. Uh, there's also a checklist and a credit card, as far as not a credit card like a Visa or a MasterCard, but more like, you know, who did what in the series breaks it down for you. We get Magnificent Megafauna, which were um, the uh, animals that came after the, you know, the transition animals on the way to uh, the extinction of the dinosaurs into um, uh, the large mammals. I mean, this thing right here. Ah, shoot, man. That one's kind of hard to see. Anyways, what's cool about these is that the it's done with a spot printing process, I guess. So they're not um, flat. The cards are... I mean, this thing's a freaking rhinoceros. That horn on his head, six feet long. It's as long as me. It's a me-sized horn. Anyways, uh, these cards are done with a spot finish where the card is kind of flat looking. When You, you got to tilt it in the light. You'd have to actually have the cards. And then the animals have a slight gloss to them, so... It's it's cool. It's cool looking. But what's even cooler are lenticular cards. And you get four of those. Actually, you'll probably end up getting two sets, I believe. Or maybe it's split between the two boxes. I forget how it's split, but you do need two boxes if you want a full set. Anyways, so you get these sweet lenticular cards. And I don't know if that'll transfer on video, but... Oh, there you go. Tyrannosaur. His uh, jaw chews up and down, chomps up and down. Uh, these guys... Swimming through the water there. <laughs> I love lenticular cards, man. They're so much fun. Uh, this guy, he sways his head back and forth. Ooh. Moving dinosaurs. Dinosaurs brought to life through the magic of lenticulation. This one's the best one, though, man. He went, went. Ah, shoot, man. Now, wait. Oh, take it out of the card sleeve, you dummy. Here, check that out. All right, there you go. That should work better. There you go. Boom! He's hitting the... Uh, the the tail around. Ah, yeah. Cool. Uh, sorry, I'm like really out of it tonight. Very tired. I should have just gone to bed, but I'm doing this instead. And here's the best uh, subset that you're going to get in the series. Liquid Leviathans. Underwater creatures that you have to hold the card up to the light to see it fully, right? So this being held up to the light looks way better. So these are creatures... <laughs> that are underwater and so you get uh it's a blue card it looks like it's underwater the card yeah, let me see here and then you hold it up to the light and you see it even better see so if you just held the card stacked up it looks like that right underwater but then you hold it up to the light wow see-through cards where does kurt come up with this stuff i have no idea but i like it i like it a lot uh, and there's also actually a sheet that comes with this to tell you about these six cards since, you know, there's no way to put the information on the card. So anyways, uh, once again, Monster Wax down in uh, Florida. It's uh, I'll put the website down in the comments again. Go check it out. He's got tons of stuff. But Jurassic Park put me in the mood for dinosaurs this week. And uh, yeah, go for it, man. Go get some dinosaur cards because dinosaurs make everything cooler. And your life's not cool enough. Unless you got some dinosaurs in it. In fact, I need to go find some dinosaurs. I'll be back later. Um, until we talk next time, be a decent person. Because remember, we got enough dirt bags. Don't be a dirt bag. Peace!